Three orders to be strictly followed as PMVs resume services include mask wearing, social distancing and additional 50 toya added to the current fare of one kina. The RTA chief executive says this is crucial to avoid the transmission of COVID-19 cases in the city. Strictly, all passengers must wear masks. Strictly, the crew must sanitize the passengers entering the bus. Strictly, the bus must be washed regularly during in the morning, during the day and in the afternoons. Strictly, they must comply complete the rule, routes. PMVs play a vital role in movement of people both in the private and public sector. The first lockdown has had severe impact on the public who rely heavily on PMVs. With PMVs to resume tomorrow, RTA is concerned that some PMV operators ignore the measures authorized by the state. I encourage everyone to hear those advices, follow those advices, adhere to them, wear masks when you're in public places for instance, for simple uh, advice. Keep distance. If you don't want to wear a mask, then don't be around in a crowded place. Be on your own, for instance. We have seen a lot of uh, PB operators been breaking those uh, orders. We don't want that to repeat again. Everybody, including the owners, operators, must comply with these orders. They must implement because our safety and the safety of the general public is very important. RT also urges the public to report any concerns regarding operation of PMVs. Terama says this will also see its enforcement unit regulating the industry going forward during the pandemic. All PMVs have been urged to operate starting tomorrow with strict COVID-19 preventive measures. The license belongs to the government and making sure that you comply with these orders. If you don't comply, we will revoke your license. So... The owners need to understand this. Jack Lopave Jr., National MTV News.